Hey everyone, Sly47 here. I've got a video in the background of the Des Moines, which will be the topic of our fifth video in this series of Tier 10 Cruisers. Uh, I kind of want to hold for a second, because you're about to see something stupid. And from one Henry driver to another, uh, don't do this, okay? Just don't. The Des Moines has much better firepower when up close. You want to keep your range with the Des Moines, and that's really its shtick is the Des Moines is a amazing close range brawler. And the Henry is not. It can do burst damage very really well, but when it's going up against another ship with burst damage, you, like, come on. <laughs> okay, so small rant over. So Des Moines, what is it? What is it like? How is it? You got a little bit of taste there. It is a brawling ship. It is, if you are in its area, you're going to get hit a ton and such. It doesn't have as many guns, but its guns fire a lot and they are very powerful for what they do. You've got nine 203s. You've got decent health pool. I feel like that probably needs a buff. Speeds, mediocre. The turn time is amazing. Six seconds. You're just, you can just go back and forth. It's, it's very easy. Gun range is okay but it's got those suborbital arcs like the Worcester though you do hit harder when you actually hit so that's kind of a nice thing you've got a reload speed of 6.3 seconds and of course with fast uh, with the reload boost you can bump that down even uh, lower you've got an 8% fire chance which is really solid turret traverse is good secondaries are surprisingly really good you get eight of them on a side uh, when they're all on one and with that overall 12, uh, you've got a decent reload. They start fires a lot more than they say, even though it's three seconds. But with this ship, it does have great AA as well. I find this ship really a great all-rounder. The problem is it has some drawbacks and unfortunately, you know, take it out of that Worcester level of power. You know, that, and you're going to kind of see it with the armor. It just can't take the damage, even though it's meant to kind of be a close range brawling ship. It just just doesn't have that that staying power uh, like you know there's a there's a bunch of other ships like it but the grind let's kind of talk about the grind as i'm running away from this montana grinds hit or miss you're gonna either love the ship or you're gonna hate the ship they just don't have enough armor for what they do kind of similar to des moines but as you go up the tiers you're gonna i, I have a feeling you're probably gonna like the nine and ten the tier six seven and eight you, you're gonna have hit or miss so uh, I wouldn't say it's the easiest grind, but I'd say it's a, it's consistent. You're going to have consistently, in, in, at least in my opinion, consistently good games, which is, is a nice thing on a grind. It's not going to be insane games, but pretty good. Traits of the ship. What's the crate? What, what, what's the niche? What's the, the je ne sais quoi of the Des Moines? Amazing AA and great AP and great HE. You're, you're firing HE at long ranges and firing AP at close ranges. I have a few videos up of AP at close range just wrecking battleships. And this, this is something that I would say for the entire line is that once you get within about five kilometers, be shooting AP at the bow, superstructure, or stern of a ship, and you're going to be racking up some damage. A lot of people just stick to HE because they think American Cruiser HE. No, the AP is very good on this. You will get consistent citadels and really do consistent damage. Uh, as you can see with this, is I'm... I'm burning down this Montana and helping out with everything but of course earlier you saw the AP just do it this is a very well-rounded ship I just wish it would have a little bit more staying power and I once again people are going to say the Worcester has the same armor I, I really believe the Worcester's is a little bit more troll and we need more troll armor on the heavy cruiser not the light cruiser of the American line that's that that really is its main problem it's got the utility it's got the damage output that it can have uh, a speed boost would like a, a higher speed would be kind of nice but it really doesn't need to because that's not really its play style and I, I really like that because its play style really is you're in my zone now you know you're not <laughs> what's that quote you know i'm not trapped here with you you're trapped here with me that's the des moines motto and enjoy it because it really is a fun time uh, especially if you do the Kincaid trick where you get another uh, radar which then can kind of freak some people out but it owns its area it's fun I enjoy it I know it's not great uh, I would definitely have a tough time suggesting it to most people but 
at the same time, it still does good work, and you can have, I, I'd say I'd, I'd say my consistent games are around 50, 50,000 damage, so it, it's not bad. It definitely does some work, but unfortunately that just, that failure to get that stain power in, you just, you can't carry those games like they're like you can in the Worcester you can't carry the games per se like in the Moskva where it's a little bit more solid and you can kind of keep your distance this requires brawling so uh if anything you just got to know to kind of watch how much pressure you're getting put on and make sure you get out of there before you get killed but once again it, it's a really solid ship I I I have a I have a, a love for it even though I know that it's it's not perfect so but that's the Des Moines I uh, hope you guys liked it, and if you guys go up it, let me know, uh, and I hope you liked the video. Have a good one.